Hey everyone, we are getting caught up on our vlogs and uh, this one today is of the weekend. It's uh, our Saturday and Sunday vlogs, just combined them all into one. And it is the story of us assembling and installing all of our Ikea cabinets in our kitchen and installing our walnut. I gotta leave with a huge thanks to my brother, Michael, for coming out here. He really made this work. <laughs> he definitely kept me going. I think I'd kind of hit a little bit of a wall uh, from trying to push to get this ready in time. Originally, I, I had asked him to come out on Sunday and see if he could do like Sunday, Monday or something like that. Yeah, uh, because that, I thought that was the earliest time, earliest possible time for me to get that room ready. And it just had to work out to be Friday night into Saturday. So that's the hustle. Uh, but it all worked out and we couldn't have done it without him. So thank you, Michael. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. This rail is not on the right spot. Right. I'm not sure that it could, would click on. Yeah. No, in any way. So the so the we're, we're off. Oh. So, so it has to be up more. I think, yeah. So this one has to be up one, and I think this one has to be up. One. Oh, son of a. Uh, so the bottom one doesn't even fit. The bottom one fits. No, the bottom one's great. Okay. So the it's, other two have to come up. Right. It's that when we. It's that the. And I suspect that maybe none of the diagrams. Yeah, it's fine. Just are, let's move them. Are green. All right. Um. Thank you. 
Gonna screw them in the screw holes. Oh, not in the screw holes, I guess. In between the screw holes. That was uh, me. Make them lock. Yeah. So X marks the spot. Okay. Yeah, but only after they're on the thing. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. Is that, so is that flush? Yeah, it looks like this wall is actually flat. <laughs> Should be, because it's brand new. It's a miracle. It's still a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. It's pretty fun. All right. You good? I am in a happy place. Me too. Oh my God. Okay. The thing is crooked, but we're both in happy places. Take your turn. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. This side seems to be For 36 for the countertop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be nice. Yeah. Right below. So it'll come in the countertops will be right below the cook's off, top surface. That's nice. That's perfect. That's great. I think it's going to be good. block filler piece here and then there's a piece that goes on the front to um, fill this entire gap. Get all the way from the edge of here. Yeah. So I mean it's close to 57 mm -hmm. but um, but 56 and a half would give us a little bit of clearance. And on, and on this side, it's not going to matter because the ship lap is going to come down. So it doesn't okay. have to be a perfect. Yeah. And, yeah. and, then, and then back here, 56 and a half gets us a little, again, we could, it's a little bit like this distance is a little farther, bit farther yeah. but I think 56 and a half is still safe. Mm -hmm. That would take us to here. Mm -hmm. Is it going to touch the log further down, I guess? Or is that the... let's, let's see. I don't think so. I was thinking it's going to be fine because we are going to have a trim piece that goes up right there, right? Well, 
And it cover, covers this. Covers that. But also, if you look up, because it's a terrible drywall, mm -hmm. it protrudes inwards a little bit. So it'd be kind of funky to have a trim piece that didn't cover that. Mm -hmm. And that's roughly that's equal, I think, to where this comes out. Okay. And you're going to set the trim piece right on top of the counter? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. So it would come down to the counter. Yeah. And cover that interface. Yeah. Okay. I think that makes sense. That's cool. Cool. And completely accounted, right? So this, the fact that this log is ancient and uneven, we're good. We're not gonna, we're not gonna run into a bulge in it. No. Nope. Yeah. You. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Test that out. Sweet. All right. So uh, last question. So we're gonna, we've got the two bushel block lengths, right? Mm -hmm. We'll have a. The, they come with a finished edge. And then an unfinished yes. edge. Then we'll be cutting an unfinished edge. Yes. So, so where do we want finished to finished edge should probably go here. So that's into what so what the world sees, if yeah. they see it would be finished. Yeah. And then unfinished yeah. Edge. Okay. Okay. And then you guys have a sander, right? So we could yeah. we could sand down that edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yep. Exciting. So now we just need to cut something that's square. Yeah. That's no problem. And not from IKEA. <laughs> Strategic <laughs> advantage. Where's what you bought from? It's from Lum Lumber Liquidators. Oh, yeah. cool. And so it's, it's walnut. Mm -hmm. It's solid. Like, solid. Not like the veneer one. Solid walnut. Yeah. Like so, so strips of walnut that have been glued together to butcher block. Yep. That's awesome. It's gonna yeah, be great. It's gonna be heavy. It's really heavy. It's really heavy. <laughs>
and then screw. Okay. screw. I think we should probably cut the other one. The other one make first. sure that the stove is. No, speaking of throwing up. Um, make sure make sure the stove is exactly where we want it, and then we could screw them both down. You okay. I guess that's an excellent plan. Yeah. Okay, what we're doing here is everything you need to do to get a really clean cut on a, on a countertop or any, any piece of important wood to you. We're gonna wrap it first with painter's tape where we're gonna make our cut, and we're also preventing anything from denting the surface. So the saw or the uh, guide rail, uh, none of that is gonna dent it. And once we've got our mark, we're gonna clamp down the guide rail and um, make, that, make sure it's all in the right place and then make our cut. And this was crucial, this process was great, the edge we got was a little bit better than the factory edge that came with it. So, highly recommend this process. This is a nicer cut. Smooth. From the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know, guys. I think we just have to re redo this entire thing. That's great. That's awesome. That's really good. Mm -hmm.
And that's it. That is the story of our weekend. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you tomorrow.